Hello and welcome to um, Andre's Martin Luther King Jr. Day YouTube vlog. It's uh, January 16th, 2012. And this is a holiday that um, Stevie Wonder went out of his way to try to make a national holiday back in 1980. Uh, he and Jesse Jackson did a lot for that cause. And uh, actually, Martin Luther King Jr. Day was on a Sunday. That was his actual birthday. But as with President Day in most things, the government has chosen to move the holiday to be observed on Monday. That way, workers can get a uh, three-day weekend, as it were. You know, uh, MLK had a vision for America, you know. Was it uh, three days off from work? I'm not so sure about that, but I mean... As far as um, observation is concerned, that's just fine, however you choose to do it. We used to do a moment of silence in our family. This year I decided to talk about a gentleman who I didn't even know about until I was about 18 or 19 years old, and without whom there might never have been a Martin Luther King as we know it. There might have been a no nonviolence movement in the 1960s or civil rights movement or March on Washington in general and that's a movie I rented from Netflix because I never forget the man's name uh, Brother Outsider The Life of Bayard Rustin now for those of you not in the know Bayard Rustin was born in 1912 he died in 1987 at the age of 75 uh, he was incredible scholastically actually all his life was a singer and eventually a lute player had an incredible number of talents but the main thing he's noticed for noted for is in the late 1940s during and after World War II he was one of the main leaders who initially sparked off what we know now today as the civil rights movement the nonviolent resistance movement base from uh, Gandhi. He actually, interestingly enough, served a prison sentence in the 1940s for refusing to enlist for World War II, which was a very just cause. Yet he actually seemed to have a much less involved reaction over the more commonly thought of as unjust Vietnam conflict. Now, this man, along with um, A. Philip Randolph, helped organize the 1963 March on Washington after a failed attempt to organize one in 19, um, the 1940s, and had an involvement with Martin Luther King Jr. In fact, he was the one who introduced Martin at a time when he actually, when Martin actually had guns in his own home to the idea of nonviolence in the 1950s just before the Alabama bus boycott in Rosa Parks now. The fact is, that relationship with Martin Luther King, as stated by um, Adam Clayton Powell a little bit later, although he did join up with King again for the Civil Rights March on Washington in 1963, was that Bayard Rustin was homosexual. Now, this was at a time where it was on the list of psychiatric illnesses in America and even openly admitting it uh, could be opening up the possibility for mandatory prison sentences, psychiatric treatments, you name it. And Bayard Rustin was openly gay and openly proud of it long before it was even anything close to something you could talk about out in the public as if it wasn't a disease. After his work in the Civil Rights Movement, in the 1970s, he became a very big gay activist and, in fact, became very involved with a man who he loved very much. And they traveled the world promoting um, pacifist and uh, human rights causes until his death in 87. And this man, who lived this incredible life and uh, documented on this film, which I really encourage all of you interested in the subject of pacifism and the civil rights movement should really watch. And I am promoting this. I want. I think it's important that people 
see this film because Bayard Rustin is a man who I think even has a school named after him but is somewhat unsung and uh, on MLK you know you were a very important figure a charismatic person and um, I might not be standing with you talking to you in this manner if it wasn't for his innovations in terms of the way we view people in America and the world. But men like Bayard Rustin here should not be forgotten either because they may even be a little more like me or others out there like you who are like me, you know, who are part black and who happen to be gay and who happen to be proud of being both and who happen to be proud of being a human being and who I'll admit are very proud of being pacifists. Enjoy the rights you have, people. They're well earned. See you next time.